What is up, Geeks 4x4? Thanks for coming to the channel today. As you can see, we are back in the new garage, and you might notice that there are some things that are different. We actually got some stuff done here. This wall, this 10-foot section, 10 and a half feet, uh, section 8, 16-foot, or 16-inch uh, studs are insulated, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, started on the insulation process, and we are excited about it. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, you can see my breath. Uh, that's something that you'll see later in the video as to why it's kind of an interesting thing and I'll tell you about it. Uh, but it is thinking cold in here still. It's a little bit better. Uh, I've got some cars in here as you can tell. The, the Jeep is in here. The LJ and uh, so anyway started on insulation. Insulated underneath the drywall here. Luckily this is perfectly eight feet tall which is awesome. So it's super easy to do drywall and uh, yeah, so that's what we started on today, and let's get started. We are going to install a new garage door today. So, yeah, hopefully by the end of the day, the excursion will be in the garage. So, stay tuned. Don't forget to like. Comment below with uh, what you're thinking during the video, if you enjoy any part of it, or if you have a comment for me on how I did things. I'd love to know some more about uh, installing garage doors, and, uh, you know, kind of make that one flow a little bit better would be pretty sweet. So anyway, any tips for installing garage doors, I would love to have. And uh, let's get started on the video. in here as you can see I have the entire garage door framed uh, I will show you guys exactly what I did on that in just a minute I got a little carried away I just started going before I started filming so I apologize for that but I will show you what I did I essentially just copied the one next to it luckily it's the exact same setup I do have different spring setup because that one's old school with the long springs and then um, the tracks are about the same so Anyway, I'm about to start putting tracks on. If you hear background noise, they're doing construction next door, and so I got a little bit of background noise to deal with. So let's keep going here. Well, as you can see, I'm going pretty slow. Uh, I'll probably just cut the camera off here. This is the first time I've ever done this, so what I'm doing is putting everything on here loose and then mounting it to the wall. And I figure I will maybe put the doors, I don't know if I'll put them in now or, or after, but uh, it's the first time I've ever actually built the frame. I put a door together before, but the first time I've ever put the frame together. Uh, I didn't take this down, I bought it from somebody. Really cool guy, another Jeep guy gave me this box. Everything is individually packed. It's, it's really easy to find everything and I think every piece is in here. So shout out to him if he's watching. But uh, anyway, 
just putting together this door real slow here and uh, we'll get back to you guys and show you what we did. because they've been taking up so much room in the garage. Uh, it went up pretty well, like I said, these side, I still just have the side panels, so it will not go up right now, it will go up that foot. Uh, so uh, I gotta work on the top, stop and eat some lunch here real quick, and uh, we'll keep going. So I'm gonna throw some more of the center hinges in, and then I'll go get some lunch. So, stay tuned, I'll put the center hinges in real quick. up there I was hoping not to have to move them but it looks like I've got it to where my handlebars are dead into the bar for the garage door and the track and so I'm gonna need to pull my bikes down I'm gonna leave this bike up but definitely uh, this bike and this bike so we're uh, we're experimenting here I've been trying to put things together before I had things done and you know it just doesn't work like that and so uh, anyway We'll show you guys the bike mounts and stuff. But, essentially they're just hanging up in the rafter so they're out of the way. I'm probably going to have to move my bike mount. I'm not sure where. I'll probably move it back one or two uh, studs so that we can be behind the garage door. So, anyway. bikes out of the way and I'm going to start with my uh, bars here. I don't know. I must go facing in, which is fine with me. Keeps the footprint even smaller.
everybody can barely see it, I think, in the shot, but I got the door up. It is above you, actually. And I'm going to start cutting a hole. I uh, still got some adjusting to do on the door, obviously. I probably have adjusting to do for a little while on the door. Um, I might have a garage door guy come out. I just can't get it quite right. I got the spring a little bit tightened. I actually found that if you just tighten it, don't even twist it on the top hardly, and tighten it, that's where the spring wants to be. So anyway, uh, I'm going to start cutting here. Number 
plunge cuts in the bottom two by four and uh, kick it out of here. Be set. climbing the little four inch thing. So anyway, it's in, I'm happy. And uh, on to the next one. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, do what you do. Thanks for watching. So as you can see my breath, maybe in the camera, uh, you'll be able to see, we just pulled the excursion in if you just watched the video. And uh, it smells like diesel in here, it smells terrible. And I'm pretty sure that the diesel in my breath is making it visible. So, anyway, something interesting for you. I'm just glad the truck fit in there. Let me know what you think of my door install. Uh, if you have any tips for me, I'd love to hear them. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.